name is Bích Ngọc. Hi, my name is Quế Phương. And hi, my name is Gia Phúc. And we are the Chosen Ones! You might be wondering why we're here today. Today, we're going to talk about one technology that helps improve the environment. In our lives, everybody knows that we humans require oxygen to live, that we must breathe every day, and that no one can survive without breathing for more than a few minutes. But did you know that we are slowly destroying the environment ourselves? People must burn fossil fuels or coal to produce energy. This action emits harmful gases, such as nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide, which are harmful to humans, animals, and plant life. Some pollutants will also directly contribute to global warming. So how do we solve this problem, you ask? Well, we must either phase out or gradually reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. There's numerous technology that utilizes clean energy to help prevent this problem. As an alternative, we can use solar energy, wind energy, geothermal, biomass, and hydropower. The one that we, the chosen ones, are going to introduce to you is wind energy. This might be very unfamiliar with some of you, but for your information, it's a very useful and reliable energy source. Now, I'll let Vietnam take over and tell you more about it. Thank you, Anjin. As you know, wind is used for many purposes already such as kinetic energy for selling, flying kites, and especially producing electricity. So how can wind energies be converted into electricity? Through a windmill on our wind turbines. Instead of using electricity to generate wind like an electric fan, wind turbines generate electricity from the wind. Wind energies make the bladders of a wind turbine revolve around a rotor. The rotor is connected to the main shaft and the main shaft drives the generator to generate electricity. Wind turbines are placed on pylon 30 meters above the ground to capture most of the wind energies. This position will make the black rotation speed faster and less prone to abnormal airflow. So up to now, you have been learning how a wind turbine function, right? Well, Fool, I bet that you're tingling with excitement to share with the audience about the advantages it brings to all life. Yes, thank you, Ngoc. This type of sustainable energy provides a lot of benefit. To begin with, it's aid in the fight against climate change. Using wind power energies eliminated the need to burn fossil fuel to generate electricity. As a result, less carbon dioxide will be released into the atmosphere. In fact, wind energies accounted for about 9.2% of total U.S. electricity generation in 2021. Secondly, it employs a large number of people, helping to reduce the number of unemployment. As the wind energy production is growing, it provides many job opportunities, such as design, manufacturing, and installation. 100,000 people are working in wind power production in the US. Finally, unlike other sources of energy, after installing this turbine, you won't need to worry about the cost operation because wind is a free energy that's never run out and is almost everywhere. Moreover, this type of sustainable energy don't require much maintenance during their lifetime. Yeah, that was a lot of information. Now, Phu Oi, can you help the audience to summarize what we have just shared? To sum up, wind power has numerous significant benefits and impacts, so it greatly improves our environment. First of all, it aids in saving the environment from global warming, a hot topic among the younger generation. Second, it addresses the issues of unemployment. Last but not least, wind energy means low investment and cheap operations that help us share energy as well as save our planet. There are more than 130 countries that are developing wind energy and are generating 733 gigawatts as of 2020. In Vietnam, renewable energy accounts for 50.4% of the total electricity generated. The with total wind power potential of over 500,000 megawatt, Vietnam has the most wind energy potential in Southeast Asia. Vietnam has many advantages for developing wind energy, so we, the chosen ones, believe that Vietnam should make more efforts to maximize it to achieve the commitment of net zero emissions by 2050. That's also the end of our presentation. 
I hope you had a great time acquiring the information we've just shared and please don't forget to vote for us. Vote for us! Greater voice! Greater impact! The better the nature, the brighter the future! Yeah.